Yo, this is Bonnie right here, man. Last pup left. Take a good look at her. Look at the Jimmy Neutron on her. The nice blue eyes. Big paws. Come shop, man. Last one left. Hit me before it's too late. I dropped the price on her. Come shop, man. What's up, Night Kenna family? We're back with another video. So as you can see, today we took the pups out and just put them on the porch. I grabbed them a couple toys from Roses or whatever. But they just on the porch, chilling. Really following Callie. I put Callie out here too today. I know they'll stay there. But look at that, look at them babies. Look at them babies, y'all. Look at the beard. Take a look at them, like. These babies is getting big. Okay, Star just gave y'all booty action. But, I'm gonna have to slide. I'm really about to feed them some mush. I'm preparing their mush as well. And just trying to get these toys out. And of course, Callie wants the toys. But as long as Callie's out here, the pups will, what's the name, go um, stay right here and they'll be good. But they're kind of not so much shy anymore too with their mom around. Mm. I just opened this drone up. All right. What up, Night Kennel family? And we're back. Back with another video. We had to start over a million times because I'm not only working. But just like um to the next scene or whatever, we were in there, we put them in their little area or whatever until we get done making our mush. So I'm about to tell you everything we do for the mush. So for the mush. We started off with uh, milk replacement. I already made that, that's what's in this bowl right now. And then we already got our puppy food and we got our blender. And you need like another little bowl just to get put water to even it out. Cause you don't wanna, you wanna even it out, make it a mush and not like hard food. So first things first, put your dog food inside of here. And the kibble we're using, we already showed y'all in previous videos, but Excellent. sports mix. Puppy, small bites, man. Very good. Also, this is a milk replacement. We literally got this at Walmart for like ten dollars. Not gonna lie, that yep. sports mix, that bag is about fifteen dollars. So fifteen ain't too bad. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell y'all how I made this because I already made it because I just got started. I'll be forgetting to film. But what I did, I put three scoops of the um, milk replacement and I put two, um, one cup of water. So after that, first, I'm gonna go in with our little bowl or whatever, fill it with hot water, not well, warm water, warm water, hot water, but not cold, just to soften up that dog food. So soften it up it. so it can blend real nice. Yep, yep, yep. Right, so I did that. We might need a couple scoops of this just because I'm gonna put this off to the side because I'm gonna put the milk in just to see how watery it is after. So right now she's putting in the milk like she said, she's putting the milk in there first. Go ahead and give us another scoop. We make a lot, so we put them in um, little plastic bags and savor them so every time they need to eat, we put them in the refrigerator too because they keep them moist so it won't dry out. So we yeah. make a lot and we preserve them. And like y'all already know, we have seven pups. So we gotta make sure all seven pups are eating. We don't want nobody to go unfed. That do have that. That should make a lot of noise. Add some water. Add some water. All right, we really should be good now. We're gonna just start off with one of Just give y'all a little look. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I was all up the camera. But this is the look of it. And now we're gonna get her blended and make her nice into a nice mush. It's uh, get her blended up real nice. And before we even start blending, I'm gonna tell y'all about the bowls we got. These bowls literally came from roses, not even that much, maybe like 
Roses. How much money? Uh, maybe like three dollar bowls, right? Yeah, $2. probably about two dollars, three. Probably about two dollars, three dollars. But these bowls, they fit their head in there really nice. You don't even need them little um. It would be nice to have them little bowls, the circle bowl, real big or whatever. But we didn't even do it because. Amazon, we don't got time to wait. We had to get yeah. to do what we had to do. So we went to Rosa's and got what we got. And these work, they stick their head right in there and it fits all of them. Maybe one, four dogs will go to other and uh, three will go to the next one. Yep. So with that being said, let's blend her up. Blend her up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good intentions, my heart is pure. All right, y'all. So we had to add so much to try to get to that consistency that we like. So... Right now we added a little bit more water and a little bit more replacement after adding that dog food. So we're gonna get it to the nice consistency that we want so we can show y'all. This takes time. You gotta take your time. Take your time. See, he getting active, he putting his hands in this shit. So you gotta get, you gotta get down and dirty, baby. Mm -hmm. Gotta get down and dirty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, that's what we got for y'all today. This is the content we're giving y'all today. Just in case y'all got pups, y'all trying to make mush. We got the sauce. We got the game to give y'all to make that mush, man. All right, go ahead. What's your hand? All right. All right, I guess start going in. She acting funny, give me a Yeah. Good intentions, my heart is pure. You can beat mine and I'll be yours. This is real love, it's love the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good intentions. All right, y'all, blend it a little bit. Right now, it's looking like it's very, it's looking a little loose. We don't want it too loose like this. So, we're going to add like a little bit more dog food. Thicken it up. Yeah. So, it's nice like this, but just need a, really a couple more drops of dog food just to make it a little bit thicker. Cause you don't want it to be loose, like wiggling like that. Yeah, no loosey goosey. We don't want that. Mm. No loosey goosey. And then the next, um, serving that we're gonna do with this. Right, that should be good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of scared. I don't want to be. And if this is too much dog food, we just add a little bit more water. Back to our timeline. Good intentions. Right, what up, y'all? We back again. So, blended acting a little funny. So but not really a blended up. fashion way. You do a little bit of twist action. <laughs> get her to get through there, man. Some of the dog food, some of the hard kibble got stuck in the blades. So, yeah. But this is what we doing, man. It's fine. So we're about to show y'all down here and not gonna enter the bowl. So give us one second. Yeah, if y'all haven't already, subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to us. Hit that notification bell so you can see when we post. Mm -hmm. And man, just show love, man. It's all about spreading love, man. Spreading love and positivity. Right now, y'all can't see our face, but you can see it now. Bruh. All right. <laughs> all right. So get our hands in for it, and we're just gonna put some. Mush it to each of these bowls. Yeah, yeah let me position it right. Uh, right now, perfect. we're gonna pop the lid. Mama Nasia usually does the popping of the lid. I'm weak. Get it off of there. There we go. Well, let me show y'all the consistency of it, actually. So, let me get the fork. So, you will want your consistency, like at least a little watery. Like, make it mush. You know what mush is. Come on. So, man, like, see mushy. how it's like easy for their little tiny teeth to just get it and it's like slightly watery but also solid at the same time yep so it give it that feel that mama taste so, so we just nice slap a little bit down because they'll bust it down with no hezzy except for maybe the girl but yeah star the only one that really she likes it but we try and wean her on it though yeah they still do eat from cali from time to time so like sometimes if we're not always home to feed them the mush off the rip we'll put cali in there for a little bit just so they can make sure they got something in their stomach and make sure they actually are a little full that's how it's looking you got me on the bowl. 
So we just put a nice, generous amount. Callie scratches, she might be hot outside. Right now we got Callie outside on the leash and Nani's out in the front. So that's all we're gonna give him for today. Well, not for today, until for right now. So with that being said, I'ma just. If I was a puppy, I'd fuck that shit up. <laughs> that was a puppy, she looked good. So then I just smear it all around the bowl so they can just, everybody can have at it. OG Pete in the house. Pete, you wanna get in the camera, man? I already put him in there. Oh, you put him on a time lapse. I don't know if y'all seen OG Pete on the time lapse, but he was deaf in there. Pete just be chilling on the grown man shit. So, that's how I just smeared it around the bowl. Look like nice pile of peanut butter, don't it? So now we just smear it around the bowl, right? Do it to the other bowl. That's all we doing, man. Yeah, one bowl gets more than the other because a lot of them eat off the same bowl. So they sleeping right now and they move the puppy pad in every which way. So, yeah, I'll show y'all a couple of tricks or tips that we got for y'all. Giving y'all a game. If y'all got any game to give us, just Go drop ahead. it down in the yeah. comments, man. We Let us know. Everything. All feedback is good feedback, yeah. regardless if it's negative or positive. Regardless, criticism is criticism. Whether it's constructive or haters, we don't. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to us. So, follow us into the room. But yeah, night kennel family. Like we said in the other scene, right now. Right now we're making it taller, getting it right for us. Right now we got the pups in our little area. You gotta make things work, man. You gotta do what you gotta do with what you got, you know? Help really got to make things work. Right now we don't got our own spot like we already told y'all in previous videos, but we got everything in the works in the process. So soon we'll have our own spot. Right now I'm just fixing their, um, fixing their area with the puppy pad because they make a mess. Yep, right but I'm now, a, they heavy, so they pushing this little gate open. This gate ain't holding shit back. I'm going to give you all a little look at each puppy. All right, you can start doing that now. Pass me here. Here you go, boy's door. I think but, that's door. Yeah, that's as y'all know already, my favorite one still is my favorite one. Thor. Look at that boy. That boy look good. Here's meals. Here's meals. Look at the girth on him. Nice and healthy. Okay, I don't appreciate how y'all put your paws in it. Yup, yup. Here's a beer. Look just like Callie, but bigger. Oh yeah, we have bigger, to show y'all a picture of Callie, so we're gonna drop that right next to him, so. Yup. Here's yeah. a beer. Sorry, they ready to get this food into their system. We got a beer right they here, the only brindle. Here. See that brindle pattern on them? Look close, get a close up on that. Feel me? Nice stripe in the middle of the domey. Paws is white. Eyes are blue, I think. Is his eyes blue? Yeah, they're blue still, like a little bluish gray. But yeah, full tail, like we said, full tail. Nice paws. This is a bear, man. All right, this is Baby Star. Something's been doing good because she feels about heavy right now. But Baby Star, man, she was the smallest out the litter. As y'all know, as we said in previous videos, but she getting her weight up, man. Looking nice, look at the backside. Girthy, nice and girthy, full tail. Dome piece looking nice, as y'all can see. The strip in the middle of the head look nice. Just a, it's a good production, man, all the way through. But that's this our boy. This our boy, Clyde, you already see. He, every time we put the mush down, he gets gets in there. And no hesitation. Don't bark or not me. Just go to the bowl and start turning it down. But he looks good. He is actually probably, he might be bigger than Thor. I'm not even sure, but he got some weight on him. Or if he's not bigger than Thor, he right behind Thor. Uh, this is, honestly, job, he's Thor. he's one of my favorites too. Because he's probably going to be more of like on the shorter side. As you can see, his arms are real short. As you can see, that noggin, that Jimmy Neutron. All of them got a Jimmy Neutron. None of them got a little, a little head. But look at King, the backside. King said that much good. Look at that face. 
full tail. Oh. But yeah, I'm about to let my boy go back to eating. Cause he busting it down. They got the food all over their nose. All right, you already know the lilac of the family. Our boy Kane. Yes, sir. Nice and healthy. Kane looking good. I think Kane is probably the chillest one out of the litter. Him and the bear because they're more laid back, but they get a little scuffling every now and then. But look at the backside. Check that tail out. Check the paws out. Just like I said about the other pups. Look at that Jimmy Neutron. Nice size heads, man. Just quality, just good production all the way through, man. Right now, he getting a little mad at me because he want to eat. So, I'm going to let him eat. We missed two. All right, here. This is our girl, Bonnie, and last one, Stitch. But, yeah, this is Bonnie. I think she's smaller than hey, Star Stitch. now. She was bigger than Star. But look at her. She got that white strip in the middle. Got a nice little pattern on the back. It's like on the side, on the right side. It goes from the front to the back. Yeah, beautiful blue eyes. But look at the back side. Nice and girthy like the other ones. Look at that Jimmy Neutron. Nice and big, man. Her head nice and big. She's still up for grabs. So if y'all want a girl, if y'all want a female. Her and Star. For y'all breedings or if y'all just want a pet man let us know man we can work something out with you just hit us in our instagram and in our dms instagram is in the description but yeah man look at the chest piece chest piece on her can't really tell right now because her head down but look at the chest piece on her nice man production all the way through Nice production all the way through. Stitch, last but not least. Last but not least, man. Um, this is Stitch. Stitch is going to um Bruno. Uh Bruno is um Bruno is the dad. So he's going to uh the parents of Bruno. And man, Stitch just look good, man. Look 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 good. Very nice. He's going back with his dad. Full tail. So he going to be around his pops, man. Pops going to train him, going to get him right. But you see the little strip in the middle of the head. See the girth. Nice girth. But yeah, man, look at the chest piece on him. Lift that head up for me, Stitch. Look at that chest piece. But yeah, man, quality, quality pups, man. Quality pups. But we gonna let these guys eat. Yep, and I put a time lapse on so you guys can watch them eat until we get ready to go and do their um cage. Yep, I cannot see how they're eating. But all right, until the next video, family, or the next scene. This is real love, it's love galore. I need your love, girl, give me more. I feel lucky cause somehow we made it through. We was down bad and ain't shit to do. I'm trying to get to the bag, I'm trying to make a move. But I was stuck. What's up, y'all? So, this is the next scene or whatever, whatnot. So, what we're doing, we're just um, showing y'all how we preserve it or whatever, and we put it in the fridge. So, we just. We're showing y'all how we preserve it, and we're going to put it in the fridge. This is warm, it's kind of weird. But, um. We just get a plastic bag and literally stuff it in the plastic bag. And then you sit it in the refrigerator because the refrigerator is going to create that moisture in the bag and keep it nice and moist. And then when we're um, about to feed them again, we put a little bit of water if it's like kind of dried out. Put a little bit um, more water just to make it back to that mush like how we like it. So. Make sure you get all of it. Don't leave nothing behind, man. You spend too much money on this stuff to leave stuff behind. Yeah. And they'll eat every drop. Yep, they love this, man. I don't know what it is about that mush, but I don't know if it's the dog food. I don't know if it's the replacement, but they, they attack. They attack. And back in the time lapse with the puppies, what I was doing was I literally got like a little mister spray bottle. And I'm not sure if they know how to drink out of a bowl yet. So I sprayed their mouths with water so they can have something to wash this down. So you can just get a little spray bottle and just let them drink a little bit. They actually liked it that, so didn't mind doing that. That wasn't a hard job at all.
But after they eat this stuff, they KO. I say KO. KO. But we're about to move on to the next thing after we preserve this. And we're going to show y'all how we wrap that kennel up. So, and right now we don't got no more hypoallergenic wipes. So we have to run out to the store to do that because they need to get wiped down. So we'll maybe, we'll probably just um, substitute with a wet rag for right now. Just wipe them down. Just water. One water in a wet rag is going to get them right until we run to the store and get the wipes. And if y'all feel like taking a trip with us, we can do that. But all right, to the next scene, y'all. Yeah, yeah, this is poetry in motion. I just want to win and turn nothing into something. Starving all day, now we hot like the summer. I was really down, now I'm plotting on my come up. You run up, you get down. This is poetry in motion. I just want to win and turn nothing into something. Starving all day, now we hot like the summer. I was really down, now I'm plotting on my come up. You run up, you get down.